We dream of shaping the earth to serve our needs. This story is as old as our ability to make and use tools. One such story is the Cape Cod Canal. From its glacial beginnings 20,000 years ago, Cape Cod is a large peninsula with two tidal rivers that almost connect to bisect it. Due to this land isthmus, ships need to make long and dangerous trips around the Cape to conduct trade between the colonies of the New World. In 1623, Miles Standish of the Plymouth Colony is the first to propose linking the Scusset and Manomet rivers to create a seamless ribbon of water, allowing ships to avoid the dangerous shoals off the coast of Cape Cod. In 1776, George Washington investigates digging a canal to enable our fragile American fleet to sneak past the British blockade during the American Revolution. These two dreamers lack the technology to accomplish this huge task. Centuries pass and others dream of a canal to provide a safe and swift passage. During this time, thousands of shipwrecks are recorded off the coast of Cape Cod. In 1914, a wealthy New York financier named August Belmont realizes the dream and successfully connects Buzzards Bay and Cape Cod Bay, creating the Cape Cod Canal. There is a blending of the waters ceremony, which turns Cape Cod into an island. Soon after the canal opens, ships pay the toll and take the hazardous shortcut through the new canal. Three bridges cross this narrow, shallow, and dangerous waterway. Many shipping accidents follow, and the canal is not profitable. In 1928, August Belmont sells his unsuccessful canal to the U.S. government. The Army Corps of Engineers hires workers during the Depression and rebuilds the canal, making it deeper, wider, and safer. New bridges are built to accommodate the wider canal. Today, many enjoy the canal for its recreation and its beauty. Ships safely navigate the world's widest sea level canal. The Cape Cod Canal is a dream fulfilled with a special place in history. Thank you.